Hey guys and girls, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual machine or virtual PC using Windows Hyper-V. There are a few prerequisites uh, to be able to do this. You're going to need a 64-bit edition of Windows 10 uh, Pro or Windows Enterprise. Okay, and your CPU needs to support SLAT technology. Okay, virtualization must be enabled in your BIOS. I'm not going to be walking you through how to do that. Uh, every BIOS is different depending on what motherboard you've got. So you're going to have to check your motherboard manual and see if you have virtualization available uh, as a setting on your motherboard. So I've enabled uh, virtualization on my motherboard. So I'm using the Hero VII motherboard. Um, so that's quite easy to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, activate the Hyper-V feature of Windows 10 and how to install and set up the VirtualBox. If you're not sure if you're running a 60-bit version, 64-bit version of Windows, what you can do is come down to the Start button. You can right-click and come up to System. Uh, I have blocked out a couple of things just for security reasons, and up here you can see that what version of Windows, so Windows 10 Pro. If you've got Home, you're not going to be able to do this, um, or it might say Windows Enterprise. And down here it says System Type, and you can see there's 64-bit operating system. So we're good to go. We are going to hit the Windows button and the R key, which will open the Run command. And we're going to run Optional Features.exe, and we're going to click OK. So I'm going to select Hyper-V. Tick both boxes, click OK, and it's going to apply those changes. It then says restart now. Um, we'll hit restart now, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so the PC is restarted, and we're ready to set up our virtual machine. So we're going to come down and left click, or sorry, right click on the start button. You can also do Windows key and X. We're going to come up to uh, Control Panel. I'm going to go into administrative tools. Once we're in there, we're going to click the Hyper-V manager. And we can close down these other two windows. Here's the Hyper-V manager. And the first thing we want to do is click on to, make sure we clicked onto our uh, computer name. And we're going to click new virtual machine. And this brings up the virtual machine wizard. And we're going to just follow this through. So click next, uh, specify a name, and location for your virtual machine. So I'm going to call this Windows uh, 10, and it's going to be my test machine. Uh, and I'm going to leave it stored in the default C program data, Microsoft Windows Hyper-V. Uh, if you want to store it somewhere else, just click this, and then you can browse to the location where you want to store it. I'm going to specify Generation 1 because it's a 64-bit uh, version of Windows that I'm going to install. Um, it provides virtual hardware, which has been available in all previous versions of Hyper-V. Uh, I'm not using, I don't see the need to use Generation 2, so I'm just going to click Next. I'm going to leave Dynamic Memory ticked and leave it at the standard uh, 1024 meg. Um, if you have limited uh, onboard memory, so if you're running like sort of two gig onboard memory or even a gig, untick this. Okay, I have uh, 16 gig of onboard, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that uh, to use Dynamics as it uses as much as it needs. So click next, and then we're gonna configure networking. We're gonna leave that just not connected for now. Next again, and then we're gonna set up the virtual hard disk. So here we've got the name, which is automatically generated, the location of where you want it. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And I'm going to set it to 20 gig. I only want 20 gig hard drive, um, which is fine. You can use an existing virtual hard drive if you've got one, or you can attach a virtual hard disk later. So let's go next. This is the install and operating system. So you can install the operating system now, or you can come back and configure it later, which I'm going to leave it for now and then show you how to configure it after. And then you'll get a summary. So there's the summary. It just tells you the name of the virtual machine, what generation it is, how much memory, and just the settings you've just set up, the location of the virtual hard disk. I'm going to click Finish. 
and that's the the virtual machine uh, set up. What we want to do now is install the operating system. And over here, I've got an ISO image of Windows 10 Pro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across to settings on the right hand side. I'm going to come down to where it says ID Controller One DVD Drive. Click on that. And this is where you can specify your, your, your OS medium. So for instance, if you're using a physical disk, okay, you can say where the disk is and what drive you want it to use, or if you're using an image file. So I'm using an image file, so I'm going to browse and select. Okay, and then we're just going to click OK. And that's ready to start. So down here I can click Start. And this will start the virtual machine. You can see down here it started. So if we just double click this, it will open the virtual machine. And we can see that it has found the ISO file and booted to the ISO file. So we can now go, uh, my language is English, and you can set up and configure Windows 10. I'm not going to show you how to do that just now. Um, you can watch the video on how to install Windows 10. And uh, I'll come back to you once this is done and explain to you the next steps. Okay, so we want to get the internet working and we want to be able to use the internet with our virtual machine. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into Virtual Switch Manager and we're going to set up a new virtual switch. So we're going to create a virtual switch to an external source. Uh, we're going to leave the name blank just for now. Um, we can, uh, we could actually call, we could name it and we could just say uh, Network Adapter. and we want it to connect to external network and we're going to use uh, the ethernet adapter that's in our computer and we're just going to click apply click yes It'll apply changes and click ok we then want to click on make sure we're highlighted and clicked on our virtual machine come down here to settings and where it says network adapter you're going to want to select network adapter click apply click ok and that is the network configured. And the other thing we will want to be able to do is adjust the display and graphic settings. So we're going to go to settings again and we're going to click add hardware and add the remote FX 3D video adapter. Click add. Uh, maximum monitor resolution that you want it to uh, be able to do. And apply. OK. And we're going to launch um, Windows 10 and click start double click down here and it will open and it's going to ask us what sort of display settings we want so here we go and I'm not going to do full screen I'm going to do just below full screen 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to connect so there we go. You can resize the window manually. You can turn off the enhanced session. Okay. Or you can turn it back on. You can do full screen mode. Okay, so there we are. Windows 10 installed. And we can click in here and go to Google as you can see internet's working uh, our virtual machine set up um, and that is how to configure Hyper-V on Windows 10 catch you in the next video